morning, my good hellions. How are you this morning? Or this evening, or this afternoon, or whenever you happen to be watching this. Anyway, one job today. I've got one job, man, and then the rest of the day, man, we're okay. we got the rest of the day to play. Originally this weekend, like I said last night after COC, um, I should have went and checked out uh, camping to see if we're able to camp, to see if the area that I usually go to is open. Um, that's like a two and a half hour drive. Um, but I have a lot, to, a lot of stuff to catch up on and get done at the house. I have yards to mow. I have vegetation killer to put out in the front rocks there. Uh, we're supposed to have a thunderstorm on Saturday. So that's going to be pretty neat. Oh, that's funny. Last Saturday, we had a thunderstorm also. Huh. One week apart. Thunderstorms. That would be pretty neat. Um, and what's the other thing? Um, oh, yeah. I got a chicken coop to build and a backyard to mow. I think I said yards, meaning plural. Lots of stuff. Hopefully, my goal, that's not an unattainable goal. My goal is to get all three doors on the chicken coop built and installed and the whole thing painted and the trim boards done. That's my goal for the weekend. Okay. It's it's in stone now. It's been vlogged. It's golden. Yeah, and you can see here that they are doing construction not only next to my house, but they are doing construction all over town. This isn't very bad right now, but even with the uh, limited amount of workers that are working or back to work now, this right here has been a major congested zone, as all construction zones are, I guess. It's not too bad right now, though. It's actually kind of nice. They're putting in sidewalks, I think, on both sides, which will be really nice. You can't see it because this, uh, this Lexus here is in the way. Oh, well, maybe they are not. They just tore up that side and then they laid... Oh, well, maybe they are. Maybe they're just putting curbs in and not sidewalks. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's where I used to work. We just passed where I used to uh, work. <laughs> so apparently my uh, appointment that I had today isn't working out. So that sucks, but I was able to get the front yard mowed and trimmed. So, and I haven't heard from the customer. So um, we did get this though, another card in as many days from Angie, two days in a row. Thought you could use a little purple sparkle since I'm not there to do it. You now need to rub your hand over the front of this card a few times and then rub the top of your head. It will be as if I'm right there with you. Well, maybe not. I love you. I miss you. I'm hoping I can be there with you soon to rub yucky glitter on you when I see it in a store. Love you always, Angie. And the card says you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Clear. Oh, look at that. Okay. For the rest of the day, I will be Glitter Boy. <laughs> Title of the vlog, Glitter Boy. Well, no jobs today, but it gave me an opportunity to get the front yard trimmed and mowed. So now it looks all, it looks nice out there. And I got the backyard mowed too. And I had the windows open, so I had that nice pre-summer air, sweet cut grass smell going through the house. Smells so good. Ah. And, oh, it just got sunny, wow. Um, there's a bird, you need to get the birds, not chickens, you need to get the birds. Get down. Um, so anyway, yeah, I got the backyard all trimmed out also. So we need to, I guess, start on the chicken coop. Start getting this stuff done. Start by painting. We're gonna paint this up first. This one and this one here. We're going to paint first, and then we'll go from there. Hi, Mr. Crane. Oh, bye, Mr. Cranefly. I just got through looking at the paints. We have black. We have the red. We know that we have some of the gray primer left, but I went to look for the uh, color that I chose for the chicken coop. Yes, it was Oops Paint, but there's no color on it. I could have swore that it had like a little something up here of like a uh, off-white kind of eggshell colored but it is nothing. It's it's bright white base. It's tintable, but I don't see anywhere on here. So we don't know what color this is. <laughs> That's awkward. I could have swore that it was like a brownish. It'd be weird if it was like pink or something. Or is this gray? What, 
color. Oh, okay, see? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's like a gray. Okay, cool. Let's go paint. This is the color of the gray primer. This is the color of the paint. <laughs> this is dried. This is not. Um, kind of interesting because it's almost the same shade. Remember I kept telling you guys this is not going to be the color of the inside of the coupe. I guess it was pretty uh, pretty close to what it is. It's going to be a little bit lighter in color. You can see the contrast right here. That's the primer, dried. This is the paint, pretty much dried. Not dried, dried, not dry, dried, not dry, dried, not dry, dried. So the bump out box is done. The nesting boxes are done. Oops, I, drip, I dribbled. Now we're going to do in here. I'm going to be like a mad painter. I'm just going to kick some major butt. Painting butt. It's five o'clock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so this wall behind me is totally done. The bump out box is totally done. The ceiling, the roof is totally done. This wall over here is totally done. I still have this one over here to do and this one over here to do and the floor. Next time I build the chicken coop, I'm building it with one wall. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I looked at the weather report, and even though it looks nice outside, we still have a bunch of this stuff going on over there and there, but it says it's not supposed to rain until tomorrow, around seven o'clock in the morning, to where we're supposed to have thunder, uh, thunderstorms for the second Saturday in a row. You guys remember last weekend when Phoenix and I camped out in the chicken coop, uh, we woke up to uh, thunder and lightning, which is really cool. Uh, but today, right now, because it's not going to rain, I'm going to paint this up. It gets painted black. Um, I'm going to uh, roll it on because that's the easiest way to roll it onto the screen. And then I'm also going to, since I've got this out, that's what I wanted to do is two birds, one stone, not wasting paint, start to do uh, the black on this one here too. It's really going to be cool because right now you can see the mesh. After it gets painted, it's going to be almost invisible. You're going to be able to see right through it. <laughs> or at least that's the way it's supposed to work in theory. We'll find out what happens. Strawberry enclosure, done. Look at that. That looks so much better. You guys see what I'm talking about now? Look at that. And then over here, look, you can't even see it hardly. Can you see it? I'll show you the difference, and then you'll be able to see the difference. Look at that. See that? With black paint, without black paint. Look at that. See right through it. It's so awesome. I'm not worried about this. Trim is going to cover all this and this and there's going to be a trim plate here so trim's going to go all over so i'm not worried about how that looks i'm only concerned about how this looks i've only done the outside i still need to come in here and do the inside but we're getting her done and i'm not wearing my sunglasses usually i'll, I'll wear glasses or sunglasses to paint and i'll just get like a million like i'll get like a billion spots on them look at this hand over here look at this i'm spotted look at that so it just makes me wonder how much of this stuff is actually making it into my eyes. <laughs> wow, look at that, guys. Sit. <laughs> Good girl. I just got through throwing the ball to her. So this was fun. Now, well, first of all, we've got all of the um, hardware cloth painted inside and out all four sides remember next time i do a chicken coop only doing one wall one side no actually one wall has two sides doesn't it drat i want to do half a wall okay so anyway this was fun getting down here and painting the inside of this and so this right here i'm going to do tomorrow probably while it's raining anything i can do inside the coop tomorrow while it's raining so i can maximize my my time while still getting something done, hence maximizing my time. Right, Buffy? Yeah. Just about ready to water the garden, but I want to show you guys the, uh, the cage for the strawberries. And tomorrow, I get to eat a strawberry. You want to come up front too? Come on. Go, girl. There you go. I know it looks big, it looks bulky, but hey, it looks better than what it was originally and because it's black look at that we can see the nice red strawberry sitting there tempting all the birds ha <laughs> actually excuse you you've got some 
Oh, jeez. Be a lady. Go lay down. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my. Tomorrow we're gonna eat that strawberry. It's gonna be delicious. I know it. Come on, let's go. We were just out here to show them the dingleberry, I mean the strawberry. <laughs> yeah, certainly not going to eat a dingleberry. Oh. So we're gonna get this and put this back in here for the night. Um, I could probably, you know, I wanna put it on the card. I'm gonna leave the cardboard in here. There, I'm gonna leave the cardboard in there, put that on there. That way that doesn't try to adhere itself to that. Even though everything's dry, you guys know about paint. Even though it's dry, it'll still stick to each other. Oh, I forgot to paint this. That was supposed to be the same color as the inside. Oh man, okay. I probably have a spotted face. I have spotted hands, both of them. So I want to go and uh, water the garden. Probably call it a night. Get an early start tomorrow. How does that sound? Yeah? One o'clock in the morning on the day. Why does my chair feel like I'm so... Uh, feels like I'm so low. How low can you go? There we go. Well, that's much better. Ah, I'm higher now. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. One o'clock in the morning, 12 comments, 258 views, 57 likes. 258 views, 57 likes. Oh, come on, guys. Give me a thumbs up, please. I know. It sounds like I'm begging for it, but I'm begging for it. Come on. <laughs> Give me a bone here. Okay, uh, where am I at? Oh, you're at your house. <laughs> okay. Newest comment first. Here we go. Nicole Flynn, yay, first comment and first thumbs up. Ah, the card Angie sent you is really sweet. Yes, it was. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Brote, second and second. Ben Massey, third again. Hello, Hellion, says Joseph Blau. And Caroline Canadian Truck Gal says, I love that you said a 65 Mustang, my kind of car. Angie's card to you and her letter to Phoenix was so sweet. Oh, and that's sunflowers coming up, not corn. My plants are starting to sprout too, and my sunflowers look like that. It's kind of cool. Angie got a variety of sunflowers. They're like all different colors and all different weird varieties. So, in the words of Forrest Gump, never know what you're going to get. Well, I don't know what we're going to get. <laughs> but I guess we'll see it once it comes up and it becomes a sunflower. <laughs> uh, Santa Services. Uh... Hey guys, just checking in with y'all. It's been crazy up here, but thankfully I have Troy in the vlog. LOL. Thanks, man. Keep it up. Oh, thank you, Clarence. And yeah, we're going to be doing the um, all the, the Patreon stuff, uh, hopefully within this next week. Hopefully this weekend. I don't know. This is going to be a busy weekend for me, so I don't know. But in the next week, I'm going to handle Patreon stuff. Tyler Bocamp. Oh my gosh. Um, unfortunately, my grandpa unexpectedly passed away this morning. He really hadn't been in declining health, but he wasn't in the best of health either. Uh, he had recently went into a nursing home for physical therapy rehab, but had been experiencing other issues. He went for a blood transfusion yesterday, and he had perked up, and then this morning it was a different story. Uh, this morning they called my grandma and said they either needed to call an ambulance or to call hospice before the ambulance could get there. Uh, we were told he passed peacefully. He was my hero. I looked up to him uh, for so much. This world will never be the same without him. And I did post already, but um, we're sorry to hear that, Tyler. And our thoughts and well wishes are with you and your family in this um, time of loss. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, unfortunately, we have to move on. I'm sorry. Ah, I always never know how to transition from this. Um, Tony Fredrickson, 1985, was 35 years ago. Graduated high school that year. Ugh, forgot my age. Happy weekend. Oh, I reminded you. You're welcome. And the final comment of the night, Judy Hart, sweet card. All right, that's it, guys. Happy haunting. Thank you so very much for watching. I'm going to bed now. Good night.